Welcome back to Asgard, and welcome to another episode of our Terraria modded, modded Hard Mode Let's Play series. Uh, if you recall last episode, we took on a couple new bosses, the um, Tiki Totem and the Ruck, and managed to kill those. We also died to Skeletron, so um, there was that. Um, since then, I've kind of built out a little area to fight Skeletron, I think, and um, so we'll give him a shot later on in the episode. And uh, we also got, oops, <clears throat> um, we also got a bunch of new NPCs, so we're going to be checking out those really quick as well. Um, I did get this uh, desert guy, I can't think of his name, but uh, <clears throat> desert trader or something like that. Um, he sold this genie lamp, which just allows us to summon this genie and it'll show, it'll kind of like highlight enemies. Um, almost like a danger sense potion, but all the time. So I went ahead and bought that. There's also these uh, basically Jawa clothes from Star Wars that we could use as a vanity item, sandstone ring. Eh. But I got this fossil sugar. Um, summons a rideable antline mount. It's great. Um, um, I'll show it to you guys in just a second. Um, there's also this desert crown that will allow us to summon the rock again. And then we got the diver that we got when we killed the blue jellyfish. Nothing's really changed in his inventory. Um, we got this pyromancer that uh, sells fire grenades, flaming arrows, and Molotov cocktails. So, it's always kind of nice. Um, there's also this... Whoops. I mean to take down your light. There's also this zombie that sells basically just some like random junk. Sells that good book, necromancer's heart, spellbook teeth. Um, but probably the nicest thing that he sells is he actually sells these vertebrae and rotten chunks. <clears throat> so we're, we're going to go ahead and buy just 15 of these so we don't have to farm them um, to summon the Brain of Cthulhu. And then this guy here sells like a poison vial. Um, and then this Desert Wind Rune, which I think we're going to get one of these to pop for like a boss. Um, it'll use up 20 of our mana but give us desert dexterity for two minutes. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but we'll see. And then there's this guide to expert throwing. I think we're going to take this because uh, throwing damage will duplicate itself for one-fourth of the damage. So you're talking with like throwing grenades, that's like almost 80 damage with the throwing grenades if we have this thing equipped. So I do believe that we're going to go with it as far as what to get rid of. That's tough, honestly. I think we're going to get rid of the Shield of Cthulhu, maybe. Oh, I think so. Yeah, because we've still got 21 defense without it. And having that extra one-fourth damage would be really, really nice. And then we've got uh, Chef Bobby Flay here, and... Apparently, he sells a bunch of different food, and then just some vanity items, and then some junk uh, weapons that aren't all that great. But I think we might take... Um, yeah, I think we're going to take some of these calcium shakes, because they increase our defense. There's also uh, vision, uh, knockback, magic damage, movement speed, life regen. Um, but I think right now the Calcium Shakes sound like a pretty good choice. And we'll go ahead and we'll head on over to, um, to the uh, Corruption. But see how fast this Antline Mount moves? It's so, so quick. Um, now as far as like jumping and stuff, it doesn't have a whole lot of jump and it does take fall damage, which kind of sucks. But um, it's very, very quick for getting around. Um, now when we fight the boss, I don't know for sure, we'll probably honestly use the blue slime for the brain of Cthulhu. And then Skeletron, uh, we might use the antline for that, possibly. But anyway, I'll go ahead and speed this up for just a second while we make our way over to the corruption. <laughs>
Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to cut camera for a second. Um, I'm having issues finding uh, those mushrooms. We need at least two more vicious mushrooms to summon the brain. So, um, give me a second while I try to get these together and um, I'll be back. Okay, okay welcome back. Um, I'm just putting some finishing touches on this. Just like a long straight uh, straight away so and I realized you know after I went to go craft that that we need a bottle to craft it so that wasn't too big of an issue and let's go craft our summoning item here that handline mount is so nice for getting around okay so we got our bloody spine and hopefully he doesn't spawn with some ridiculous modifier or something. Um, we're going to hope for that anyway. And let's go ahead and switch our mount over to the uh, slime mount. Because I feel like being able to jump on him will be a little bit more beneficial. And... I'm actually going to trim this back just a little bit. So now, okay. And yeah, now we should be good to go. Alright, wish us luck. And I'm going to go ahead and... Oh wow, that does so much damage now with that uh, throwing boost and everything. off the last couple of these eyes. It's a party animal. <laughs> oh shoot. Yeah, he's almost dead actually. Where's he gonna? Looks like that one. Yeah. Alright. There we go. That actually wasn't bad at all that time. Um, I have to say, these hand grenades with the damage boost are way overpowered. So, 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 so powerful. Um, okay. We got here Enduring Zombie. Alright, let's go ahead and warp on back. And we'll go get ready to fight Skeletron, I think. Hopefully Skeletron will go as well as... Um, the brain did. Now let's see, we got some tissue samples. We got the mask, and we got the precise brain of confusion. May confuse nearby enemies after being struck. Not really that great of an accessory um, in my experience, but... And let's take one quick look here. I believe, yeah, see now she sells the worm food and the bloody spine and they're furry. So now we can summon um, all four of those bosses. No problem at all. And the mutant guy. Yeah, we'll sell them to us, but you know, we can get them for free. But we can also get the storm flare from him. So, 
And by the way, I'm now running Pad Thai because the traveling merchant came through and I figured, hey, why not? Petrified. Can't get out of the house or the hotel. There we go. Let's go ahead and switch over mounts really quick to make it a little bit faster getting through here. Okay, and I will see you guys over there. Okay, I know it's a little bit late in the night, but I think we might be able to get him, you know, on a good run. So let's pop that. And get him summoned here. Yeah, I think maybe using the wings over actually on a mount with him might be a little bit better for us. Especially with these javelins. Um, well, at least whenever he's got he's swinging, we'll use the grenades. I think. gonna kill him today I promise we're taking out these two bosses today Almost got both the arms down. There we go. Now I think it would be a better time to. Oh man. Well, that was much closer. I'm um, gonna we'll wait till the the sun sets again, and we'll come back and give it another shot. Okay, welcome back. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and build ourselves a elevator. Um, just right think right down here um, that way we can start getting some of the better you know the better gear and whatnot um, what do I have these oh yeah I was wondering what these crafted I found out these were actually different than the sandstone bars that we got before so let's see what these will actually craft Oh, a high movement speed set with only 12 defense. That's really it. Alright. But um, I'll go ahead and speed this up while we get a elevator and we'll start maybe checking out hell and getting some hellstone. So.
while we got an obsidian rose, our first, uh, first imp that we killed. I don't know what that is laughing. Um, but we're almost down there. So, let's see. Yeah, I think it's like a succubus or something. Yeah, Lilith. Okay. <clears throat> I have a feeling we're about to have a blast. But I'm just thinking that getting the Hellstone armor and some of the stuff from here may give us the edge that we need to kill Skeletron a bit easier. Because I will say with... <sighs> Stupid. have no control all this stupid hexing crap. <sighs> I'm dead. Somebody had hexing and just kept hexing the shit out of me. I don't know if it was the, that Lilith or what. Oh, <sighs> But yeah, we'll head back down and um, I'll finish digging out the actual elevator off camera because um, we weren't actually finding anything all that interesting as we dug down. So, um, Oh, I'll go ahead and speed it up and we'll get back down into hail. But yeah, I've never, <clears throat> in the past, I've never had, like, any kind of an issue with, uh, Skeletron or anything. However, for some reason, I don't know if it's because we're mainly trying to use throwing weapons or what, but Skeletron has been a major pain in my ass, this, uh... Oh. There we go. Um, you know, during this let's play and everything. Oh wow, insta kill. Okay, there's our hell forge. And let me. Face there. Oh my God. But I'm thinking there might be some, you know, some decent throwing weapons or something that can come from here. Um, plus we can get health potions down here pretty good, pretty decent, uh, rate and everything. God, they just curse by design. Oh my God, those are terrible, by the way. <laughs> because every attack that they have curses you, gives you this um, love hurt. Uh, probably the worst enemy I have seen yet. pop some food, get our life regen going, and let's see if we can get a bit of this hellstone. I'll have to grind some more uh, obsidian up, but uh, but I'll do that off camera. Um, <clears throat> actually, I tell you what, let's let's explore around for just a minute. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time mining off on camera. Um, <clears throat> I mean, at least we did get the Brain of Cthulhu down today, and he was fairly easy. What is that? A Bone Flayer? Oh my god. Oh 
Okay. But yeah, see, everything's dropping healing potions at a pretty decent rate. Now, to open that, we're going to have to get um, a key from the dungeon. <clears throat> Red hot bag. Can be used with the extractinator. Huh. We'll have to see what that does here in a second. Oh, oops. Okay. Anything of interest down here, maybe? No. Honestly, hell's not too, too bad. Minus those Lilith. Those things are terrible. Because, you know, once you get... Uh, Once you get um, that hexing effect, I mean, there's really nothing you can do about that. So, now I do think here fairly soon we'll be coming here to actually kill the wall of flesh. But I want to kill Skeletron first, and I also want to um, <clears throat> kill the Queen Bee and the. Um, the evil corn, I believe it is. Um, I've been kind of waiting for a blood moon and a cook to um, be able to get the summon item for the evil corn, though. Because it's kind of a pain to get his uh, summon item. Oh, God. I hate this stuff. I probably shouldn't have even came in here, realistically. Alrighty. Those guys are kind of interesting, too, because they don't... Their attacks don't, uh, like, move or anything, so you can kind of just try to stay away from them. They're not too, too bad. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see what we got. I think we'll go check out that... Yeah, I think we'll go check out that red hot bag. Oh, God. Yeah, we've got a few of those. We might see what's in those. Um, but I'll probably do a bit of farming between this episode and next. Oh, we need a shadow key for that. And um, hopefully get us at a position that, you know, we can knock out Skeletron no problem. I even tried it with the... Uh, um... Molotov cocktails as well, but didn't have really any luck with that either, so <clears throat> I'll um, figure something out and uh, we'll get him down next episode, so. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's head on back and see what these um, bags do, I think. Because I really want uh, to get Skeletron down because that way we can I feel like we can actually start really building the base out. Because um, as it stands right now, you know, I don't like to manually farm. <laughs> and uh, I'm just kind of waiting to get the mechanic um, to get that stuff set up and everything. This place is actually under a blood moon right now. I came here to build earlier and it was like, what the? It was like, cool. Okay, but let's dump off a little bit of this stuff, and we'll run these through the extractinator and see what we get. Oh, we're getting this magma ore. Can be placed. It's a material. I hate Jersey Devils. Oh my God. Um, fucking, come on. Okay, I see you. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with this magma ore, though. We might need the Hellforge for it. I'm gonna go kill that damn Jersey Devil. These things drive me insane.
Okay. So we'll put down the Hill Forge. Okay, we can make this magma core. It's molten to the touch. Um, and I guess that's it. We'll make one of these and see what we'll go see what uh, we craft with that. Because that's something that's added with the mods. Um, okay. Let's see. Crafting. Oh. Hmm. Bursting with heat. That's a melee set, it looks like. Yeah, that magma set's all melee based. And honestly, the weapons aren't really good. I was expecting something a bit more powerful, but that is not the case. Um... just for that and it looks like okay we can make explosive coating throwing attacks will have a chance to detonate hitting nearby enemies that's kind of nice actually um, and then this combustion flask <clears throat> burst into flame upon impacting an enemy or tile if gas is present anywhere on screen an explosive reaction will occur but we need crystal shards for that so um, we're not gonna be able to make that just yet but I'll tell you what, um, I'm going to call the episode there, and I'm going to do a bit of mining, get a bit of hellstone, and we might make the, um, you know, the set that, uh, the set from that. Let's actually take a really quick look and see what the set would be like with that. Hmm. So we got a few of those. I've got to get rid of that uh, weapons guy. The uh, um, oh, I can't think of his name right now. Let's see. Yeah, so we'll be able to get the flame meringue, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, the molten fury, fiery great sword. Which, if you notice, a lot of these are materials. We'll be able to combine them with other um, weapons and stuff and get some really nice things. Um, this Phoenix Blaster. Actually pretty nice. The Imp Staff is is pretty good. Um, let's see, what's our current summon? 27 damage. I just don't feel like it's very strong. Like it's kind of slow moving. But we'll be able to make this Molten set, which is quite a bit of a defense increase. <clears throat> and, uh, might be good. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Purified Jail. Static Jail. 5% increased throwing damage, 50% chance to not consume thrown items, and 5% increased throwing critical strike chance. That's what we need, right here. It also has minion stuff too. Huh, then there's this flare bolt. Um, not too, too bad. Ulta sword. Okay, that we won't be able to make anytime soon. Oh. Now there's a new kunai that we can make. I may grind up some of those as well. Um, Flame Lash is actually a really, really nice um, weapon. And let's see, Flower of Fire. Yeah, see, there's a lot of really nice things that we'll be able to make. Also, this mining emblem, so we'll be able to mine a bit quicker. That's going to help out a ton. Um, what? Attacks against enemies have a 20% chance to summon a Molten Protector. Prophecy, Inferno Staff, Terrarium Core. Oh, 
hammer, molten knife. Now, see, so there's all kinds of stuff that we'll be able to make. And, um,. You know, we could actually make that magic sword. I've already got the Star Fury. Um, I believe the Knight's Edge will be... Or no, maybe that's a bit harder to make. I can't recall on that. But all the rest of this stuff's pretty basic. Um, but yeah, I'm going to grind up, get a few of those kunai. Um, maybe see about getting that Purified Jail and uh, getting ourselves some of that Stata Jail stuff. That stuff's really, really nice really really nice the greaves aren't so much but the uh the helm and the chest are extremely nice and um you know there's no telling what the set bonus is it does appear to be like um a throwing summon combo build like gear so um i'm gonna try to get that stuff together next episode we may try to fight skeletron or we might um do queen bee and the um, evil corn. I'm not really sure yet, but we'll see. Um, it kind of depends on if I find a hive, I guess. But, um, yeah, we'll definitely kill some more bosses next episode, so. But anyway, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please comment, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. We actually just recently hit 100 subs, so thank you guys again so, so much. And, um, yeah, so I hope you guys join me for next episode. Uh, sorry we still couldn't get Skeletron down. I don't know. Like, I've never really had an issue with him in the past. And this this playthrough, I'm having such an issue with him. Like, he just doesn't want to take damage. Um, I do believe next time we'll probably fight him on foot. I did try that. Um, but, of course, I ended up dying on that attempt as well. Um, so... I mean, right now, it's just he does so much damage. Like, the last attempt I did when I was finally just like, whatever. Um, <clears throat> he had me down to half health when I was just trying to get out of there to, uh, you know, fight him. Just because he spawns right there on top of you. I hate spawning him with, um, you know, like when you're first doing the progression. But anyway, um, we'll get him down soon, I promise. And, uh... <laughs> And uh, yeah, so until next episode though, do take care and I will see you then.